And in other Apple news, have you heard about Bend Gate? This is a big problem. This is happening to the iPhone 6 Plus. That's the bigger model, the 5.5 inch. People are complaining that uh, it is bending. Here's a closer look. All over Twitter, people are posting pictures of their bent iPhone 6 Plus with the hashtag BenGate. Most of the complaints were about people saying all they did was keep it in their pocket while they were sitting, in their back or front pocket. But that seemed to be enough to bend it. Too bad skinny tight pants are still in style. And also trending, this popular online phone reviewer claims to have bent the iPhone 6 Plus with his bare hands. This video is viral and getting a lot of attention, but it could be fake, so I wanted to find out. I went to Square Trade. They test the durability of phones because they offer warranties to consumers and need to know how these devices hold up. They agreed to sacrifice an iPhone 6 Plus and do a bend test. First, Jessica tried. Okay. She could not bend it, so they brought in the big guns. All this protein belongs to Pace Lou. He works at Square Trade and is a bodybuilder. Pace gave it a try, and within five seconds, there was a noticeable bend. It was easy for him to do this. That's too easy. The casing on the side even popped out, making it seem like this phone's really flimsy. So here it is. Pace was able to easily bend the 6 Plus. It's been over 10 minutes now. The bend is staying, and it's now going to stay on this phone. Um, he told me that he used, out of a scale of 1 to 10, about 6 of his strength so he wasn't even going full power so it bent pretty easily Apple has not responded yet to this bending issue the answer might be as simple as don't sit with it in tight pants or just keep it in a strong case but before you drop hundreds of dollars and wait weeks for it to be delivered to you you've been warned you might end up with a bent phone Gabe Slate Cron 4 News